Hey there, what's up? This is Neil Lapier and I'm finally able to fulfill my lifelong dream of making my own movies in my own vision. Now, who here hasn't grown up in with the ideas of watching great films like Star Wars, talking about the old ones, or the new ones which are visually exciting? And haven't we thought about making something like that of our own that presents our vision? That's maybe something we can use for ads, we can use for visuals, or we can just sell. Now a new software is coming out, it's called Movie Real AI, and that's going to help you do exactly that. Let me go in and show you how Movie Real AI works and how you can use it to create crisp, amazing looking videos, amazing looking movies that you can give away, you can sell, you can use for ads or anything else for that matter. So let's jump in and let me walk you through Movie Real AI. Okay, the software is really straightforward to use, but there are a few things that you can do with it to get the best output. So you come into projects, you can see by the way all the characters that you have, you can create a new character as well. So you can, for example, upload your own image. I'm going to do that and you're able to create a character with that as well. So let me go ahead and quickly into some details and add my own character. So just to show you, I have already created a character with AI, so you can check this out. Let me see if I can preview this, or we're going to use this within the video anyway. Uh, so I've got this character, and then another one I've just uploaded, I've just added mine. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit, show you. That's not so good. This is my own picture, but I think this is pretty good. So we're gonna play with this. We're gonna use these in our demos. I'm gonna zoom out again, and let's go ahead into projects, and we're going to create our own project. So in this case, we can start with an idea or start with a script. I'm just going to start with an idea because right now uh, I didn't really have a script at hand. So there's some recommended ideas, The Man Who Borrowed Luck, uh, Tragedy Five More Minutes or sat Satire. I'm just going to use this one and I think this is pretty good, right? So I'm just going to go with next and we can always create uh, our ideal persona and we can create a story about them as well, which is fantastic because if we have a story about our ideal persona, we can use that in our marketing material as well. Again, I'm just thinking from marketing, but think about how much money your clients would pay for it to you to create videos like this, which of course, with this license, you can do as well. So I'll let us do its thing and uh, we'll come back and I'll show you basically what this next step looks like. Okay, there we go. This is the story. Um, I can edit this as I want. But let's say this is saying, using the word Ethan. This is the name. I can change all these to Neil if I wanted to. So let's go ahead and do that because I want the story to be about me. Um, let's go ahead and change all the names. I like that it's also quite easy to uh, operate and use that way. So rather than trying to fiddle with a lot of different things, you can just go ahead and select and uh, change things as you see fit. So there's a lot of customization possibility. Again, you can change the script as well if you want to. That's entirely up to you as well. So you can review the story, you can verify that, you can rewrite it if you want, and you can click next. Uh, then you can choose the characters that you want to add in here. So you can add basically the cast, the ensemble uh, for this particular story. You can choose some cinematic inspiration as well if you want. So all these things that you want to add. So we'll just go for Echo of Fortune. Uh, Neil, and it's it's already generating our cast, by the way, which is fantastic. So these are the cast members that it has. I can uh, switch the face, and these are the characters. Let me see if I can do a quick face switch. I think I can upload my own picture and uh, do that. I've never really tried face swap, but there's a possibility you can decide what kind of dimensions you want the video to be. Style strength, video uh, style, so you can choose a video style too, which I think is really cool if you're trying to do uh, videos that look really good. So I'll just go for uh, a fantasy game style because I like that. I think that's pretty cool. So we'll just run with this. Okay, uh, that's good. I think that's all I need to pick. I can, of course, give some cinematic inspiration too, but this is enough for now. Let's go next, and it's going to now generate scenes for us. All right, so the scenes are now ready. You can see a bit of description about each scene. There's some title as well. Uh, you can rearrange them as you want. You can add more scene. You can delete stuff if you see fit. Let's go ahead and create the shot. So each shot basically corresponds to each scene. And this is important because that's how you're going to be able to visualize each scene separately because there's six scenes in there. And that's going to make an entire movie video. So all let us do is thing is generating a shot at the moment. Uh, I can, of course, go ahead and download the poster. So the poster is ready as well, which is if I want to advertise it, I mean, that's a pretty cool one, right? And then I'm able to also wait for it to finish its thing and that will have 
our video ready to go. So I'll bring you back once it is ready and I can show you what the output looks like. All right, so this is what my video looks like right now. It's broken down into six different scenes as I talked about. And there's a lot of customization that I can do right here. So I can, for example, choose the shot type that I want. So in this case, I'm going for a long shot. In this case, I'll go for a medium shot. Let's go back to long. Uh, let's go to um, white shot. And in this case, I'll go for extreme close up. Uh, one second, let me just see. And I can just click right and it's able to it's able to move as well. So then I can choose other things. For example, I can choose camera angles. I can choose lighting. So I can control all these things. I mean, basically, these are the kind of edits that movie producers would have to do with lots of different uh, manual work. But now you can automate all of that. Uh, but look, this is enough for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, the storyboard, basically, I'm just going to go ahead and accept this as is. We can preview it. We can see when it's with Atari. Okay, so to be honest, this is quite good for me. I'm happy with what this looks like. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we can even like generate video. I don't know what happens with this. Oh, so you can actually do even prompt from here, but I don't want to do that. A video from here. But once you're happy with this, click on render. It's going to take a few minutes and it's going to produce the entire video for you, which is fantastic. I'm going to put the video at the end of this so you can see what that looks like. But doing this, I'm able to create short videos that I can use for ads, that I can use for anything else. I can bring my own script and do that as well. In fact, so let's go ahead and watch the final video that you produced and you can see what that looks like. Oh, one more thing. Do make sure to grab it from the link underneath this video. There's going to be a few upgrades as well. I'll try and do send information about that to you in my email if you are on my email list. But do make sure you go through all the upgrades as you're picking your copy of Movie Real AI as well. Welcome, Ethan. What is it you seek? A break. A chance to turn things around. I've always walked a fine line between the living and the dead. My name is Sam Holloway, and I see things most people can't. When a series of murders shook my hometown, I knew I had to confront the darkness. Each victim whispered a name, Alara, a vengeful spirit tied to a past filled with pain. But as I dug deeper, I discovered a haunting connection to my own life, to my sister, Lily. It was a battle not just for the town, but for my own soul. I faced the spirit in a forgotten mansion where her sorrow echoed through the walls. I had to find a way to help her find peace. In doing so, I found a path to heal my own heart. This is my journey through shadows, loss, and ultimately, redemption.